is our music through the 60s and 70s. You'll have 10 seconds to answer each question, and just for fun, there are points awarded on the difficulty of the question, so if you want to keep a score of your correct answers, then grab a pencil or pen and a piece of paper. There are 82 points on offer, and there are 25 questions. Into the first question. Question 1. Which group had a hit with the album Rumours in 1977? Was it T-Rex, Fleetwood Mac, Led Zeppelin or Slade? And there's one point on offer. And the answer was Fleetwood Mac with Rumours. Brenda Lee was coming on strong on what 1973 hit for a Dutch group. In the summertime, Crocodile Rock, Radar Love or Get It On. And there's 10 points on offer here. And it was Golden Earring with Radar Love. And if you've got that, well done. And Brenda Lee was coming on strong on the radio. Question three. Which member of the Beatles was the eldest? George Harrison, Ringo Starr, Paul McCartney, or John Lennon? And there are five points on offer. And the answer was Ringo Starr, a.k.a. Richard Starkey, born on the 7th of July, 1940. Question four. What year did Brotherhood of Man win the Eurovision Song Contest with Save Your Kisses for Me? Was it 1975, 1976, 1977 or 1978? And there are five points on offer. It was 1976. Question 5. Who had the last hit of the 70s? Black Lace, Barry White, Pink Floyd or Al Green? And there are five points on offer here. And going out of the 70s with a bang was Pink Floyd with another brick in the wall. Question 6. Jeff Lynne replaced who as lead singer of ELO? Richard Tandy, Roy Wood, Bev Bevin or Andy Craig? And there's one point on offer here. And it was the magnificent Roy Wood. What did Keith Moon and Cass Elliot of Mama Cass have in common? They both attended the same school. They shared a music award. They both died in the same room. They were secret lovers. And there are five points on offer here. And they both died in the same room, four years apart. And the room was owned by Harry Nelson in Mayfair, London. Question 8. What group did David Crosby form before joining Stills, Nash and Young? Was it the Trogs, the Animals, Procol Harum or the Birds? And there's one point on offer here. And the answer was the birds. Question nine. Who is the odd one out and why? Jimi Hendrix, Brian Jones, Bobby Bloom, Jim Morrison. And there are five points on offer here. It was Bobby Bloom. He died aged 28, while the others died aged 27. And I believe they were all members of the 27 Club, a group of people who died at the age of 27. Name this 1971 album by a British group. 
and there's one point on offer here that's uh, cut out oh, not the whole album cover by the way and the answer was meaty beaty big and bouncy by the who question 11 name the band and the guy in the middle should be something of a giveaway and there are three points on offer here and it was the hollies well done if you got that question 12 who had a hit with no milk today was it the trogs herman's hermits the Yardbirds, or the Small Faces. And there's one point on offer here. And it was Herman's Hermits. Question 13. Which Elvis Presley UK hit, released before his death, went to number one in the UK after his death in 1977? The Wonder of You, Suspicion, Burning Love, Way Down. And there are five points on offer here. And it was Way Down, which was released a year before his death. Question 14. Who had a hit with Downtown? Petula Clark, Jackie Trend, Dusty Springfield or P.P. Arnold? And there's one point on offer here. And it was Petula Clark. What a pretty thing she was. Question 15. Complete the title of this 1968 hit by Marmalade. Oh, bloody, oh, bloody, lodi, lada. Laddie, and there's one point on offer here. And the full title was Obladi Oblada. Question 16 Who had a hit in 1967 with Death of a Clown? The Bee Gees, The Kinks, The Move, Procol Harum. And there's one point on offer here. And it was The Kinks with Dave Davis. Question 17. Name the group. Now the chap at the front in the middle should be a bit of a giveaway. And there's five points on offer here. And it was the Dave Clark five question 18 who had a hit with Lily the pink in 1968 Del Shannon Ken Dodd the scaffold or the tornadoes and there's one point on offer here and it was the scaffold question 19 what was the first number one in the USA by a British group? She Loves You, The Beatles, Telstar, The Tornadoes, Apache, The Shadows, Stranger on the Shore, Mr. Acker Bilk. And there are five points on offer here. And it was Telstar named after the satellite by The Tornadoes in 1962. Question 20. Which American in 1937 was born Charles Whedon Westover? Ray Charles, Del Shannon, Herbie Hancock, Elvis Presley. And there's 10 points on offer here. And it was Del Shannon. Question 21. Complete the name of the group. Billy J. Kramer and the 
Carolinas, Nebraska's, Arkansas's, Dakota's. And there's five points on offer here. And it was Billy J. Kramer and the Dakotas. Question 22. Johnny Preston had a hit with R-N-I-G space dash E dash R. And there's one point up for grabs. And the answer was Running Bear. 23. Sandy Shaw won the Eurovision Song Contest with which song in 1967? One point on offer here. And the answer was Puppets on a String. 24. Which hit was on the B side? Of Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody. Love of my life, you're my best friend, I'm in love with my car, or Seaside Rendezvous. And it's five points if you get it right. If you've seen the film, you should be able to get this one. And yes, it was I'm in love with my car. Question 25. Led Zeppelin, Dylan and the Bee Gees all had hits with what word in the title? One point for this one. And it was Heaven. Too Much Heaven by the Bee Gees. Knocking on Heaven's Door by Bob Dylan and Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin. Just to look at the scores. And if you had 0 to 30, were you born in that era? And it's a good effort if you weren't. 31 to 59, looking good. Maybe you favour one era more than the other. Or if you got 60 to 82, then I must try harder. And you sure know your music. Well, it's been a pleasure. I hope you've enjoyed this quiz. If you have, please like, please subscribe. If there's any quiz you'd like to, any topic you'd like to see come up, please leave a comment in the bottom. And you can also leave a comment as to where you're actually doing the quiz. It's been good fun. Thanks again. Till the next time, it's goodbye from me.